Hi guys, welcome to my channel Patantaracha Yukta means learning tricks. My name is Akshay Jayde and today we will discuss about the numerical based on the quantity of fuel and size of nozzle orifice. Means this is the numerical which is based on the uh, fuel injector. Means what is the size of the nozzle through which fuel is in injected in the cylinder. So first we will see the formula based on how we uh, want to solve the numerical we will first see formula so first formula is nothing but cf is equals to cdf square root of 2 pi minus pc upon rho f so let's understand what is the meaning of these terms cf means velocity of fuel cdf means coefficient of discharge of fuel uh, through orifice h means nothing but the pressure difference between injection pressure and q is nothing but the volume of fuel injected per second okay d is diameter of the fuel orifice n is nothing but the speed in rotation per minute small n is number of orifices okay and then pi is nothing but the fuel pressure at the inlet and after that pc is nothing but the pressure at the cylinder and rho f means fuel density rho means density and f means fuel fuel so uh, rho f means nothing but fuel density and what is the unit of that kg per meter cube so second formula is uh, the before that uh, we have to understand this the velocity of fuel required for proper atomization is 400 meter per second so cf is nothing but uh, cf is equals to cdf square root of root square root of 2gh so the volume of fuel injected per second so if we want to find in seconds so what will be the formula pi by 4 d square into small n into cf theta upon 366 uh, into 60 upon n into ni upon 60 so what is ni ni is nothing but injection pressure uh, injection per minute okay so if four stroke engine is mentioned in the numerical so before uh, in the terms of n we will use n by 2 and if two stroke engine we will use ni is equals to n and q is nothing but the duration of fuel injection in crank angle degree this is theta not q sorry so after that the formula is these are nothing but the two formula after this this uh, first we will see first one note usually rate of fuel injection is expressed in millimeter cube per degree or crank angle per liter so this is a note which you have to <coughs> remember then after the formula is fuel consumed per cycle so it is it is equals to break specific fuel consumption into power divided by cycle per hour so break specific fuel consumption means what amount of fuel required to raise the engine power up to 1 kilowatt means amount of fuel required to raise the engine power up to 1 kilowatt this is nothing but the brake specific fuel consumption so if you want to find in the r so what you will do multiply by 60 four stroke engine use n by 2 and if there is a two stroke engine use n into 60 so after that time of injection if you want to find time of injection then t is equals to theta upon 360 into 60 upon n which is nothing but in the second so after that fuel supplied per cylinder per second so mf1 is nothing but the fluid supplied to first cylinder okay mf upon t into is it is equals to cdf into af into square root of 2 in bracket pi minus pc into rho f so these are the all formula how we gonna use we will see in the numerical so we will now start the numerical first numerical so let's start what is let's understand what is the first numerical so in this numerical a cylinder a six cylinder means number of cylinder is six four stroke see this in this numerical four stroke is mentioned uh, four stroke compression ignition engine develops 220 kilowatt means brake power is given at 1500 rpm means n capital n is also given with brake specific fuel consumption means bsfc it is nothing but 0.273 kg per kelvin determine the size of the single hole injector nozzle means we have to find the size of the fuel injector means what is the size of hole through which fuel is injected in the cylinder so if the injector pressure is 160 bar when pressure is also given and the pressure is 
in combustion chamber means uh, this is pi and this is the pressure in the cylinder which is nothing but the pf 40 bar so uh, the period of injection is uh, period of injection is 30 degree of crank angle means theta is given specific gravity of fuel is 0.85 and uh, orifice discharge coefficient is 0.9 so this is nothing but the all given data so now let's start the solution part so this is nothing but the all given as i said you let's un now start the solution part so first we will find mass of fuel supplied to one cylinder so how we will find that which is nothing but mf1 it is equals to brake power into bsfc brake power is also which is given which is nothing but c 220 and bsfc is 0.273 kg per kelvin so we will put the value 220 into 0.273 so if you calculate this you will get the answer which is nothing but 1.6683 into 10 raised to minus 2 kg per kg per hour if you want to convert it into second uh, then divide by 3600 okay this is in second i already converted into second so if you want to convert it into second you have to divide by 3600 okay so after that what we will find after that we will find size of orifice diameter okay so ultimately what we have to find size of orifice okay for that now we will first find mf means uh, mass mass of fuel supplied to all means what is, we will find by mf1 upon m so we have already find mf1 and we know the value of m value of m means number of cylinder so as given in the numerical which is nothing but the six so what is the value of mf1 one 1.6683 into 10 raised to minus 2 divided by 6 so we will get the value of mf which is nothing but 2.7806 into 10 raised to minus 3 kg per second okay kg per second we will we have find mf okay then after that we will find the duration of injection means we have to find now time so how we will find that theta upon 360 into 1 upon n into 60 okay so what is the value of theta means crank angle which is nothing but 30 degree given in the example 30 upon 360 into 1 by n n means what number of rotation in rpm which is nothing but 1500 into 60 so after this we will get the value which is nothing but 3.333 into 10 raised to minus 3 second okay after that we have to find velocity of fuel means with how much velocity fuel is injected in the cylinder so for this we will use the formula cf velocity of fuel okay cf is equals to cdf into square root of 2 pi means pressure at injection minus pc pressure at cylinder pressure in the cylinder upon rho f means density of fuel so after putting all these value 0.9 into square root of square root of 2 into 160 minus 40 into 10 raised to 5 40 into 10 raised to 5 which is nothing but common and after that 8 5 0 so we you will get the value which is nothing but 151.23 meter per second so this is nothing but the velocity of fuel okay till now what we have find 
the mf value duration time and velocity of fuel as well so after that we will find volume of fuel okay now we will find volume of fuel okay so for that we will use the formula which is nothing but mf upon n by 2 why we are using n by 2 which because in the numerical they have mentioned this is a four stroke engine if there is a four stroke engine we have to use n by 2 otherwise we will use n okay for two stroke engine we will use n okay now after putting all these values 60.06 upon 60 um, kg per minute okay kg per minute into 1 upon if we want in second so 3600 understand that 1500 upon 2 this is nothing but cycle per per minute okay this is nothing but in the minute into sf sf means fuel supply so 1 upon 850 this is nothing in the kg per meter cube so after solving this you will get the value 1.57 into 10 raised to minus 6 meter cube and 1.57 cubic centimeter per cycle this is nothing but the volume of fuel so this is we now we have to find the volume of fuel per cylinder so we will multiply this by 6 so you will get the value 1.57 divided by 6 so you will get the value 0.2617 this is the value volume of fuel per cylinder so finally now we will find the nozzle orifice size this is now we will use formula volume upon cf into t okay so after putting volume area so area area is nothing but pi by 4 d f square why pi by 4 d square because it is circular so pi by 4 d square so what is the value of v 0.2617 what is the value of cf 151.23 into 3.333 into 10 raised to minus 3 okay so after this you will get the value of df which is nothing but 0.813 centimeter okay this is the question number one based on the uh, size of the fuel injector for i hope you like this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you